Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Tricky Bricky. You can barely see at the moment. <laughs> I'm over here on Mersey Island, and today I'm tackling a big chimney. Yeah, I've got to put another lift onto this chimney here and get this right the way through. I've got a bit of a scaffold that needs adapting over there at the moment, so I'm just going to be loading out a few bricks. And what I'm ending up, this is one I built yesterday. Here's one I made earlier. This is the one we built yesterday, a few of us together. Now this one on this house is clad all the way around, so there's no brickwork either side, so it's just a one-man job really. You can't really get, we could get two brick layers up there, but as it corbels in and gets tighter, it's gonna get smaller and smaller. So I'll just do it by myself. So let's get up there. I've got a few bricks here. I'm gonna handball these up. I've already done these ones. I'm gonna handball the rest up and we'll crack on. I've got the scaffolder coming up now. He's gonna get rid of this one for me, make it a bit easier. Oi, oi. There we go, the boy's got the scaffold out of the way. Nice. I even moved that one up there as well so I can walk through nicely. Boom! So I've racked up both sides now and to get my to make sure this back edge is exactly right. I can't get a level up the back of there because of all the timber on there and whatnot. So what I do is I plumb up the front here, I get my tape, and I measure across one side to the other to make sure it stays at six six five. 665 all the way and I've done the same the other side 665 so as long as I keep the 665 every time I can't be wrong also we've just got this lintel in the back here now that's taking the, the weight now with the rest of the brickwork that goes up so it doesn't rest on the the former for the the chimney the throat of the chimney so we can carry on building up now, We're just filling all this in, stepping in, 34 mil at a time, take it up, 22 courses. Right, so I've just bedded my first flue former on with some wet muck. Now we're nicely upright, both ways. Bang. So now that's on, and we're bedded on with that one. The next time I put the next one on, I'm gonna use the putty around it. But I like to bed my first one on with muck to get it bang on, because the putty doesn't give you any lift. It's, it's almost like thin joint block work. It's very fine amount of putty you put on and you squeeze them on. So if you get your first one right, they should theoretically stay right all the way up. So now that that's all based, I can harden all around it with some bricks. Right, I've squeezed some of the putty sealer now around the old chimney. Now I'm going to put on the pot. Yep. Oh, Shant, she's on. Lovely. So we're looking good. We've got a big chunk of that up. Now we've run out of muck, so I've given everything a clean down, covered my bricks up. All the dust has been swept off of the boards. So we've got no problems with them and no problems to the. Uh, <laughs> for the old scaff rash when you get the dust come off the boards when it rains and it hits your work if you clean your boards you don't get that look what I've done what a wally <laughs> bonded 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 oh dear tricky went mum and dad so I've had to take it off just knock a couple of courses off get this spun dry again it's because of the step in on the corner there I wasn't looking down that line Anyway, best that's been spotted now, put it right now or look a fall later. <laughs> I'm absolutely gutted. Still can't believe I've done that, you know that. Mad. There we go, back to proper bond again. <laughs> Spot on. Right, now I'm going to start running some of this front in, get this all up to us, to the height, square it all up. And then we can go through the stage again and putting the pot on, building a bit of the back, taking it up, taking it up. So there we have it, it's all stepped in now. But there we go. Now we're back to four and a half bricks, a metre. One, two, three, four and a half. A metre wide, bang in the centre. Now we carry on straight up like this, both sides. 
and it carries on up through the scaffold and out the top of the building. But from now on, we're running nine inch this side, nine inch this side, and this 50 mil piece here between, we're gonna fill up with Formicolite. So there we go. That is the throat of the chimney. Done. You still notice all of these 665. 665 every time. So we know that's bang up right. Lovely. Let's keep racking that corner. I'm just going to rack this corner up now with this last bit of muck I've got. And that will do it for today because we've got to get the scaffold adapted. So no doubt I'll be doing something else tomorrow. So there we go ladies and gentlemen. The chimney is up to height for as far as I'm going anyway on this lift. We will be taking it up higher as we go on with the show. We're on with the job. But not today. That's as far as we're going today. Lovely old job. If you want to know any of the tools... If you want to buy any of the tools that I've been using in this job, including the Marshalltown 1910 trail, links for all the tools are in the description. So, thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the show. If you've got any value out of this episode, perhaps you might want to consider subscribing to the Tricky Brickies. But until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, have a great evening, and I'll see you soon. Peace out, and pow. Sun is shining, the weather is sweet.